Yeah, and Liz, you have a great question. You're saying, does your, your course production basically is zero cost because I use YouTube and YouTube doesn't cost anything, right? Um, yeah, it's true. My, my, I don't pay a monthly fee to Teachable or Kajabi or Thinkific or Membervault or whatever. And it's not that I'm, of course, I make enough money in my business that those things are not, would be negligible cost, uh, thankfully, to my business. So it's not the cost that I don't sign up for those. It's because of how flexible my system is. I just really like my system. My system makes it easy for me to send segments to students or to clients or to potential clients. It's all YouTube. YouTube is accessible. It's all unlisted videos. Anyway, it's just I just really like it. It gives me great stats. YouTube has fantastic stats in the back end. And I just don't see a reason to, to change. Um, now, the only reason is that my students sometimes say, well, when I'm on what we do on YouTube videos, I get distracted by the suggested videos on the side or on the bottom or whatever. And then that's why I, I give people the option to embed my playlists on their own webpage. And some of you have been clever enough to do that. You know, Anita is a great example. She embeds my YouTube plays on her own private webpage so that, so that she can watch it without the distraction of the suggested videos on YouTube. So anyway, I, I guess I could do that too. Come to think of it, I could also embed, uh, embed my playlist and maybe that's my next step <laughs> to make my things better. I could create a private webpage or unlisted webpage and embed my playlists on YouTube on my webpage. So that's what it's all, it's all in one place. I probably should do that in the future. So thank you, Anita, for, for that idea. Just ding, ding, ding. So, uh, but I'm always improving, right? Always iterative. So, um, but the only thing that costs me is my time to do all the video processing. All, and George, why don't you just hire someone to do it? Why is, you, you are a CEO of your company. You are the speaker, your keynote speaker, and you process your own videos and upload them. That's crazy. What a, what a waste of your, you know, your, your valuable time. Not really, because by me doing the processing, which I'm going to show you in this segment, in this, in this module, it, it keeps me close to my course material. And I don't, and it keeps me, and I process the chat log. So it keeps me close to what the feedback is of my students and the, and the sort of like, what's your questions and things like that. So I really believe in that model of, and also the fact that I do everything myself. I have no assistant, very clear. I have no assistant and I have a six figure business and I work about 40 hours a week. And, and you know, 40 hours a week, uh, you know, I, at this time I make 250,000 a year, no assistant. So I get to keep the vast majority, you know? And so and I do have affiliates though and I pay my affiliates handsomely whenever I can. And so um, uh, anyway, so, so uh, I think that by having a true solopreneur business, it allows me to stay close to my customer, stay close to my processes, which means that I'm constantly saying, how can I save time on this process? This is crazy. How can I save time on this? I'm always asking myself that, which allows me to eliminate steps in my process. And also, it also um, incentivizes me, motivates me to automate as much as possible. So I've gotten to learn to use Zapier really well and to automate as much of my course process as possible. And it continually motivates me every, every day, every week to, to automate more and to eliminate more of my process so that I'm just doing what's needed to stay close to my students uh, and, and their thought process and, to, and therefore thereby improve my, my, uh, my delivery and my business.